So for now, it looks like Tennessee coach Butch Jones has a chance to save his job. That's what Mike Griffith wrote at SCCCountry.com this week. And yet that has not stopped the swirling of rumors about who eventually might be the high profile <laughs> replacement for Jones when he eventually does get fired. And I think eventually that will happen. You had Paul Feinbaum on his radio show this week float the idea of Dan Mullen, the Mississippi State coach, as a replacement for uh, Jones. You had the betting markets kind of reacting to the to the John Gruden rumors as of late. You've seen a big uptick in bets and, and line movement on Gruden as the favorite at the Tennessee job. Those are two pretty big names. Mullen, a sitting SEC coach. Gruden, a one-time Super Bowl winning coach, and now I guess a high-profile broadcaster on Monday Night Football. Are either of those two names, in your mind, the top replacement for Butch Jones? Here's why I don't think it's John Gruden. And, and I've, I've kind of weighed back and forth on this a couple of times because I, I think this is a lot of Tennessee people's fan favorite to get the job. But I, I think that if it was John Gruden that they really had in their crosshairs, why isn't Butch Jones fired right now? John Gruden doesn't have a job right now other than you know hosting Monday Night Football for ESPN. If you're going to bring in a guy like that who is not coaching right now, then fire Butch Jones right now. Allow John Gruden to start recruiting these guys that are going to be in this next recruiting class. If they are trying to go after Dan Mullen or Chris Peterson or – uh, you know, Bob Petrino or anybody else that's yeah. coaching right now, then it makes a lot more sense to me that Butch Jones has not been fired because maybe maybe you are waiting till the end of the year till one of these guys is done with their season and all of a sudden you can put him in place. I don't know. I, I don't see Gruden doing it, Dan Mullen, to me. I, I don't know if Tennessee's a lateral move or not. I mean, that's not a huge step up from Mississippi State. So I think they have to be careful with the, net, the move they make. Then. Tony Pearson brings up a good point. If you're looking for an interim coach, you've got a guy, Brady Hogue, who's the defensive line yes. coach, who was the head coach at Michigan. Now, obviously, that didn't work out very well for Hogue, but he's been a head coach before. So you've got a guy that can be your interim coach. And I would I told you this last, uh, I guess it was yesterday, I would have fired Jones right after the Alabama game. Oh, I don't want to no give doubt. him a chance to save his job because winning out against the schedule that, that Tennessee plays the rest of the way, Kentucky this week, uh, Vanderbilt, you got LSU looming there. There's not really any games on that schedule that makes me as a Tennessee fan, if I were one, feel good about Jones coming back.